What is your favorite video game memory you can share from when you played games back in the day? <laughs> I don't have a lot of good video game memories because when I grew up, the hierarchy in my friend group was established by who was the best at video games. And I was always the worst at video games. I think just because I didn't have really a whole lot of interest. I mean, everybody played video games when I was a kid. And, you know, you had your favorite video games. But, I mean, I just wasn't the kid that was playing for like six, seven, eight, nine hours every night, you know, staying up all night. I was kind of the kid that kind of lost interest and fell asleep and then got picked on. <laughs> what are your thoughts on how far video games have come since then? Video games are unbelievable. I mean, the geniuses behind you know, the design of these video games, the evolution of, of graphics and storytelling, it's phenomenal. So how much research did you do in playing a Dead Rising video game for the job? I logged a lot of hours playing Dead Rising uh, to play this part as Chase Carter in Dead Rising Watchtower. Um, you know, I, I really sort of looked to our one of our producers and also our director, uh, because they're pretty much aficionados in the game. But I mean, I went out, I bought all four installments of the, all installments of the game, about Dead Rising 1, 2, 3, and Dead Rising Off the Record. Um, I bought an Xbox, um, used a friend's PlayStation. So I mean, you know, I mean, I, I put in the work. I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I definitely still had to refer to our resident experts um, about certain aspects of the game as far as how they apply to the movie. Uh, but I think I'm pretty knowledgeable. What's your favorite weapon to craft in the game? My favorite weapon to craft? I mean, you know, it's funny. There's so many outlandish and awesome weapons in the game. But I'd say my favorite weapon to use would be the spiked bat. You know, I just, I, I like the way, I like the way it kills. You know, I just feel like it's very effective. It's very efficient. You know, uh, you can kill zombies quickly with it. It's not cumbersome in the game. <laughs> where would you like to see the Dead Rising Watchtower go next as a film series? Oh, where would I like to see Dead Rising Watchtower go next? Um, well, I would love to see my character of Chase Carter be the uh, protagonist of the next game of Dead Rising 4. That would be unbelievable. Um, but, you know, I'm going to leave that to the writers, I think. And they have some really incredible ideas because I think if every time you do an installment, whether it's a film or, or a series, and there's like a new outbreak and a new outbreak and a new outbreak, I think that can get a little stale. So they have some really interesting ideas as far as the sequel is concerned to Dead Rising Watchtower. So say they did put you in the video game, what would your special move be? Oh, my, my special move. Uh, I mean, you know, you know how there's like kind of like all these little things that you can do with the character outside of killing zombies? You know, I mean, I, I think, I think maybe something along the lines of like, you know, like maybe checking himself out in the mirror or something like between killing zombies could be funny. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, you know, I mean, because it speaks to the personality of the character. Obviously, I think the character's grown from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie. You know, at the beginning of the movie, he was really just like, you know, this kind of arrogant, overly ambitious, um, sensationalistic internet journalist, you know, somewhere between like TMZ and the Huffington Post, who didn't really have a lot of integrity. But I think he sort of finds himself in the course of the movie. But I mean, you know, I'm curious to see uh, what special talents, you know, Chase would have within the game as far as uh, killing zombies is concerned. <laughs>